In today's video, we're exploring the solar system's largest volcanoes. From the towering Olympus Mons on Mars to the icy cryovolcanoes on distant moons, we have a lot to cover. Let's dive into the fascinating world of planetary volcanism. First up, we have the king of all volcanoes, Olympus Mons on Mars. Olympus Mons is not only the largest volcano on Mars, but it's also the tallest volcano in the entire solar system. Standing at a staggering height of about 22 kilometers, 13.6 miles, Olympus Mons is nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. Its base is around 600 kilometers, 373 miles, in diameter, roughly equivalent to the size of the state of Arizona. Olympus Mons is a shield volcano, characterized by its broad, gently sloping profile. It formed from repeated lava flows over millions of years. The summit features a large caldera, which is a complex of several overlapping craters formed by volcanic activity. This giant volcano offers clues about the geological history of Mars. Studying its formation helps scientists understand the volcanic activity and internal structure of the red planet. Next, we move to the Tharsis region on Mars. Home to several massive volcanoes including Ascraeus Mons, Pavonis Mons, and Arcea Mons. This volcanic plateau is a significant feature of Martian geology. Each of these volcanoes in the Tharsis region is about half the height of Olympus Mons, but still far larger than any volcano on Earth. They form a line across the Tharsis plateau, suggesting a hotspot-like activity beneath Mars' surface. Ascraeus Mons, the tallest of the Tharsis volcanoes, rises about 18 kilometers, 11 miles. Pavonis Mons stands at 14 kilometers, 8.7 miles, and Arcea Mons at 17 kilometers, 10.6 miles. These shield volcanoes have extensive lava flows and large calderas at their summits. Switching to Earth, the largest volcano here is Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Though not as tall as Olympus Mons, Mauna Loa is the world's largest active volcano in terms of volume and area covered. Mauna Loa stands 4,169 meters, 13,678 feet, above sea level. But its base extends deep into the ocean floor, making its total height about 9,170 meters, 30,085 feet. It has erupted 33 times since its first documented eruption in 1843. Moving beyond Mars, let's explore the intense volcanic activity on Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. With hundreds of volcanoes, some of which erupt lava fountains up to 500 kilometers, 311 miles, high. The largest volcanic depression on Io is Loki Patera, which spans 202 kilometers, 126 miles, in diameter. It's a massive, active lava lake that undergoes periodic brightening events, indicating volcanic eruptions. Next, we have the fascinating cryovolcanoes on Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons. Cryovolcanoes erupt water, ammonia, and methane instead of molten rock. These icy eruptions contribute to Enceladus' thin atmosphere and its plumes, which have been detected by the Cassini spacecraft. The geysers of Enceladus are concentrated at its south pole, spewing icy particles that form Saturn's E-ring. These cryovolcanoes suggest the presence of a subsurface ocean, making Enceladus a prime candidate for the search for extraterrestrial life. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, also has cryovolcanoes. Titan's cryovolcanoes might release water and ammonia from its interior, which then freezes on the surface, contributing to its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere. Sotra Patera is one of the most prominent cryovolcanoes on Titan, featuring deep craters and high peaks, indicative of past cryovolcanic activity. It provides insights into Titan's geological and atmospheric processes. Lastly, let's visit Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Triton has geysers that erupt nitrogen gas, believed to be driven by seasonal heating of its surface by the distant sun. Triton's geysers were discovered by the Voyager 2 spacecraft, showing dark plumes rising up to 8 kilometers, 5 miles, high. These eruptions suggest active geological processes even in the coldest reaches of our solar system from the towering Olympus Mons on Mars to the icy geysers of Triton. The solar system's largest volcanoes showcase a variety of geological processes. They provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of planets and moons. Future missions to these volcanic sites, especially on Mars and the icy moons of the outer planets, 
will help us further understand their mysteries and potentially uncover clues about the possibility of life beyond Earth. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the solar system's largest volcanoes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space exploration content.